puppies. Oh, right, but think Christmas. Oh, right. Uh, can I have a puppy for Christmas? Never mind your Christmas list. We have a celebration to get started. Oh, right. Think Christmas. Hark. The herald angels sing. Uh, oh. oh, right. Hark. How the bells, sweet silver bells, all here to say. Oh, no. no. <clears throat> Hark. Oh, that means listen up, everybody. Thank you, good residents of Bayside Village. Welcome to the Christmas celebration 2013. Hark! 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 As members of your esteemed elected Christmas Council, we are here to celebrate with all of you the reason for the season. That's right, all the members of the Christmas Council after much deliberation, have determined and discovered what all of you have done that have delighted us. You know, you, the residents of Bayside Village. After all, we know that the Christmas celebration that has made this village famous could not be possible without all of you. You are all the reason for the season. Well, some more than others. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. So, we are happy that you have all gathered around so we can share with you what we have discovered about members of our community that has just delighted us and will help us celebrate the Christmas holiday. For example, Councilman Smiley. Me? Yep, even you. <laughs> Do you know what we've discovered about him that delighted us? What? Whoa! What was that? Why are you yelling at me? Not, not that. The reaction from the village. There was no reaction from the village. Precisely. Oh. <laughs> Councilman Reithman, it is a new year, so we must teach everybody the tradition. Oh, no. Right. Okay, everyone. When we say, do you know what we discovered about him that delighted us, you all get to say, what? what? So let's try that again. All right. Councilman Smiley, do you know what we discovered about him that delighted us? What? what? He has fur all over him. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. You know, some people, they just got fur underneath their arms, maybe a little bit on their face. Mm -hmm. But Councilman Smiley, he's got fur all over him. His arms, his legs, even on his back. <laughs> ah, you're telling everybody. Of course. Councilman Smiley is covered in fur because he is the winner of the Christmas Council annual Christmas tree carrying contest. Give him a big round of applause. He carried his fur tree farther than anyone else in the village from Mountain Trail all the way up to Pine Ridge in less than 20 minutes. And when he was done, he was just covered in fur needles. <laughs> now, Councilman Smiley, why don't you show us that carrying technique that allowed you to carry that tree for so long and ah, so far? I would love to. Here we go. Congratulations, Smiley. Oh, thank you. oh, now it's my turn. Oh, very well then. I'll do Councilman Crimson next. Do you know what we discovered about her that delighted us? What? Her huge honker. Oh. Ah, well, it's no surprise to anybody. I mean, it's plain as the nose on her face. Oh, well, thank you, Councilman Reekman. Oh, and what an impressive size. And the juice was just flowing right out of it. <laughs> yep, she made the biggest and best cooked goose we've ever had at the village banquet. Delicious honker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, don't forget about this guy over here. Look what we got over here. Look at him sitting right up here, everybody. That's right. Ooh, it's Mr. Dale Moore. Mr. Dale Moore. Hey. 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 Say hello to everyone, Mr. Moore. Dale's family has been in the rope making business here in Bayside Village for three generations. Oh, come on. We all remember the jingle, right? <laughs> Can't, Can't tie a knot, tie a lot more ropes. Oh, we love that jingle. You know what we discovered about him that delighted us? What? what? He's high strung. Oh, say it ain't so. Oh, it's so. He uses his rope to string up his lights higher than anybody else in the whole village. Everyone in the village is envious of how high strung he is. Hey, Mr. Moore, could you show us your famous throw and pull technique you used to string your lights so high? Here we go. No. Whoa! Oh, yeah, everybody, how about that? I would not have thought of that way. Hey, I was very 
said before, the residents of Bayside Village are the reason for the season. <laughs> oh, how about Amy Walker over here? Oh, Amy, how's the horseback riding business doing? Y'all know she owns Walker's Riders. Oh, but do you know what we discovered about Amy that just delighted us? What? She has holes in her stockings. No. What? Oh, yes. And do you know what's peeping out of those holes? What? Stocking stuffers for the annual patrolman's toy drive. She donated more stuffed stockings than anyone else in the village, and she knitted each and every one of those stockings by hand. Hey, hey, Amy, show us some of those hand-warming exercises you do before uh, knitting all the stockings. Whoa, look at that, huh? That's Whoa. Nice. Let's hear for Amy Walker, yeah. everybody. What about Gerard Miller over here? Y'all know him. He lives over on Watermill Terrace. Oh, yeah. Hey, Gerard Miller. Good to see you. Again. I think we all know. We've been by his place to see that major award that he won, and it's in his front window, huh? And do you all know what we discovered about him that D lighted us? What? He's a player. Oh, everybody in the village knows that, right, ladies? Right? He is the best piano player in all of the village. Those dulcet tones that emanate from the church when he plays that piano. Oh, never has Christmas music sounded so sweet. Mr. Miller, would you show us how you play those piano keys? Oh, Whoa, yes. look at that, everybody, huh? Very nice, right. Mr. Miller. Yes. 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 And do you know who I have here? Little Ricky Wright. Do you know what I discovered about him that just delighted me? What? what? He's a paper pusher. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Ricky's too young. Oh, no. He sold more wrapping paper than anyone in the village. So much so that the library was able to purchase a hundred more Christmas stories. Ricky, could you tell everyone what you said to those people to make them buy so much wrapping paper? He's thinking about it. Buy paper. Whoa! I just want to buy more papers right now. And who can forget the wonderful Miss Viola Bell come with me? Ms. Viola Bell. Oh, yes. Who can forget her? She lives right over there on Aleppo Avenue. Do you know what we discovered about her that absolutely delighted us? What? Yes. She's a pony. What? 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 No. Yeah, that's what we discussed in our council meeting. She's a pony. We, we didn't say anything like that. <laughs> uh, no, you yourself said uh, you discovered that she was a little horse and it delighted you. Yes, a little horse from singing all of those Christmas carols at the veterans' homes to help those who serve the country celebrate the holidays. It just delighted me to hear that. Please, could you sing a couple of lines from your favorite Christmas carol? Feliz Navidad! Oh, 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 now I'm delighted. Oh, oh, and let's not forget Mr. Brad Burgess right here. Here, pass off your camera. This is going to be great. Do you know what we discovered about him? Let's go this way. That delighted us. What? He's got a nice caboose. Oh, I hope you all had a chance to go take a good look at it over at the train yard. It is. It's in the train yard. Your donation to the Bayside Orphan Fund this Christmas season was so monumental that the Christmas Council dedicated the caboose in your honor. Mr. Burgess, please tell everyone here how much you donated again. 50 cents. Whoa! 50 cents! Yes. Yes. You know, it's the thought. That's fantastic. So stop on by the model train yard and check out his caboose. Everybody, great big round of applause for Mr. Burgess and his impressive caboose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so many wonderful <laughs> residents made out this village. Yeah, it's a great group. Hey, speaking of great groups, you know what I found out about this group right over here? Thank what? You. what? <laughs> well, I have discovered and I am delighted to say that they are very talented. Oh. Ooh. Right. Their song and dance rendition of Santa's Little Helpers at last year's Christmas celebration, it still gives me goosebumps. I'd love to see it again. I remember like it was yesterday. Hey, how about Molly and I help lead the dance and the chorus in case they've forgotten the lyrics? Hey, come on, come on up. Come on, everybody, come on up. We're going to do the Santa's Little Helper dance. Last year, or want to do the dance this year? All right, over here, Batman. All right, over there. There we go. Look out there, look out there. Oh. Anybody else would like to join us? Come on up, kids! If you want to come yeah, up, join us! Over there with the little lollipop. Come on up, you too, big guy. Come on, you get in there. You're a big kid. You get in the back. All right. 
Right here. There ain't nothing wrong with me and the people. He'll drag you up. Here we go. That's all right. By your hair. Your Santa's is short and stout. And stout. Santa's always watching, so don't cry about. <laughs> we make all the toys that he gives out. So listen for his sleigh and hear him shout, Merry Christmas! Y'all out there, when we get to that part of the song, I want y'all to yell out real loud, Merry Christmas, all right? Here we go. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. We are Santa's helpers, short and stout. Santa's always watching, so don't cry about. We make all the toys that he gives out. So listen for his sleigh and hear him shout, Merry Christmas! Oh, you guys were so good! Let's Everybody, big, big, big round of applause for them! All of Santa's little helpers! Oh, and the one big helper! Next year, we are absolutely delighted by you all! Good job! Uh, after seeing all of those children, I think we have reached the part of the evening that the entire village has gathered for. The lighting of the Bayside Village Christmas trees! Yes, it was a night like this many years ago that this village found out the true meaning of Christmas. And it started with a child. A very special child. Yes, that child is the reason we celebrate Christmas the way we do today. A child who helped us realize what Christmas truly means to us, individually and as a community. The Christmas Council has chosen this child to represent the one who helped us discover and delight in the first Christmas season. This is Kalile. Kalile! Our community has celebrated Christmas for many, many years. So much so that we lost sight of the reason for the season. It always seemed to be about a bigger and brighter Christmas. Yeah, more lights, more music, more bells. The frenzy of the season pushed us. The bustle of the holidays drove us. And it wasn't until our village got completely dark that we could really see. It was in this stillness that we discovered the Christmas season. It was the flickering lights cast by one light lit in the harbor. And that light spoke to the entire world and made our village known for Christmas. This tradition all started when three ships came into our bay, carrying people, friends, families, that wanted to celebrate the holiday season together. Over the years, more trees were lit and our celebration grew. But we always remember it isn't about the number of trays or how loud the music is playing. It's all about celebrating the season together as a family, as one community and one world. In a moment, clearly it's going to ring the bell. She's going to ring it so loudly that it's going to welcome everyone to our village for Christmas. And it's just the same bell that we use on the very first village Christmas to welcome in the ships. But now, we're all part of the beauty and the tradition that this holiday brings. And as you listen, look. Look out at the bay and see how the light reflects off the water to make our village glimmer. But remember, the joy of the season is enjoying this beauty all together as a family. And with that in mind, we ask you to hug your families close and count loudly together with one voice as Kalile lights up the harbor. Hark! Let's count down from five, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. 